Hello everyone, welcome to another video for Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. This is episode 15, Footprints of Phantoms. This is your S-rank walkthrough with the Foxhound emblem, of course. Uh, this mission here is a little trickier to get no traces bonus on. And a lot of these other videos, if you've been watching, that I've done, I try to go for no traces in a lot of these. That's where you basically go get in and out without leaving a trace and um, not firing your weapon or anything like that but in this case it's a little trickier because you have to try to eliminate or extract these walker gears and in the case of no traces you can sneak up behind enemies and tell them to actually get down uh, but for some odd reason, well, these guys on this level, they are not listening to that. They, a lot of these guys on the left side that I'm about to go here, every time I would try to tell them to get down, when I was trying to go for no traces, they would never get down. So there was always one that would always try to challenge me, at least one. The ones on the right sometimes would get down. But the ones on the left here are very stubborn. They, they will not get down. And um, it became to the point, well, maybe it's just no way to do that. No traces. Uh, so after five, six, seven tries of going no traces runs, I just decided, well, let's do this. Let's just trank these dudes. That dude right there, every time I would tell him to get down, he would challenge me. So I just decided to trank him. And let's just go in here and... Be as stealthy as possible. Let's just get the Foxhound Emblem S rank here. And we're going to have to just forfeit the No Traces bonus. So I'm going to trank this guy here. Since I've already forfeited the bonus. And that's going to put a lot of these guys on, like, caution alert, basically. They're, they're going to be wondering what's up. So they're going to cluster up here. To try to see what's up with this guy so i'm just going to throw in a sleep grenade sleep grenades come in handy in a lot of these situations they work very well of course that will forfeit your no traces bonus when you use any type of weapon or grenade but i've already forfeited it so i'm going to throw it in there put all three of these guys to sleep at once bam now you're gonna have to keep vigilant here because behind me they are starting to run in all these guys are on a caution basically they're, they're they're wondering what's up what's going on they're they're not sure they're looking around i miss him once miss him twice third time's a charm and i'm going to crawl up here i'm going to try to get this guy but then i turn around because there's some more dudes coming up here if you don't get these guys, they, they will probably, like, close in on you. They will wake up all these other guys, too. And I don't want them waking these guys up. So I'm going to throw another grenade in there and put this guy to sleep. Because I don't want these guys getting up. Because if they start getting up, I'm going to be boxed in here. So we're going to be wanting to put these guys to sleep. And that guy freaks out when he sees the grenade. <laughs> but bam, he's asleep. And I think we're good. That other guy's kind of far away down there. So. I'm going to crawl up on this guy here. And he will notice me a little bit. He, he ain't going to go into an alert. But he's going to be like, whoa, what is that? And I'm just going to bam. Right in the face with the trank. I'm going to free this prisoner for some extra points, I guess. And plus I'm already here, so why not? I'm going to Fulton him. I have the wormhole Fulton. In case you're wondering, I'm going to go ahead and Fulton, start Fultoning these walker gears out. Or you could destroy them if you wanted to. I decided to Fulton them because you do get extra cash if you try to if you want to sell them. Um, so I just decided to Fulton them. And uh, this guy here, I'm wanting to put him to sleep. So pretty much you're just going around and just staying low and just putting all these guys to sleep and Fultoning the walker gears. Now that guy notices something's up. I 
thought about tranking him, but I didn't want to screw up my accuracy percentage any more than it already is, so I decided to just move on. And going prone and crawling out in a lot of these areas is your friend. Because because when they're on like a caution alert like this, these guys become incredibly vigilant at times. Sometimes they're blind as, as they can be, and then other times when they're alerted like this, they they will see you. So you want to call your horse, or in this case, D-Walker, and you're going to want to ride out of here, and that will pretty much be it. Very quick and easy way to just get the S rank on this mission. It's not very difficult at all. Uh, no traces will be vastly more difficult if you're going to go for that. But, yeah, again, a nice, quick, and easy way to get the S rank. But that will do it for me for this video, guys. If you guys could give a like, I would appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.